I preached the other time. And I'm, today, I'm going to measure on seven ways how people lie. And every time you lie, you die. Number one, I wanted to define, this is, to deceive is to deliberately cause someone to deceive is to deliberately cause someone to believe something that is not true. That is a lie. To deceive is deliberately is to deliberately deliberate okikorokikozereki okigenderire deliberately cause someone to believe something that is not true. And why do you do it? Number one, Usually, that person to gain or dupa or funim or to take advantage of someone, of something. Deception is a statement or an action that is intended to mislead. It is intended to mislead, number one, hide the truth, number two, or promote false belief. Or idea. It's often done by personal gain. People want to gain when they lie. Deception cannot happen until a deceiver is aware of the truth. Deception cannot happen until a deceiver is aware of the truth. You deceive because you know the truth. But no, you don't get a kasajua. Um saja to get accident. The socks are gaman kaitos a cigaram. You deceive. Harian kai a socks is equal get a boy kaitos a cigaram. A kyokisuba kirona degree. You deceive because you know the truth. You know the truth. The truth lies in you. And Jesus is the truth, the, the way, the truth, and life. So lying is bad. I'll give you scriptures. He hates, God is saying, a lying witness. There are two statements in that scripture. The first one, a lying tongue. But there is also a witness who is, a, an, who is an agent. He's a superior. He is a, he's too intoxicated in lying. He becomes an agent of lies. Wherever he goes, he lies. Look at these statements. I'm going to give you some test statements. Tell a lie once and all your truth become detestable. You tell a lie once and all the truth you have will become questionable. You tell the truth. A single lie discovered is enough to create doubt in every truth. A single lie discovered is enough to do what? To create doubt in every truth. A single lie. Ask your neighbor, do you lie? How many minutes have you lied? How many minutes have passed that you've lied? You lie because you know the truth. Nothing better than listening to a lie when you already know the truth. Nothing is better to listen to a lie when you know the truth. Lies lies lying is bad lying is not allowed he hates the bible says he is he detests he doesn't want it proverbs 12:22 god detests detests eh? proverbs I'll give you scriptures and then I delve into what I want to minister this, mo this morning. I want to encourage you that you should stop lying. How do you overcome lies? I'm going to give you. There are four factors you need to do to overcome lies. And remember, every liar, 
Proverbs ni yego. Ah, give me Proverbs. Proverbs. Uh, uh, Proverbs uh, uh, 23. No, no. Give me Revelation 21.8. 21.8. Lying. Everyone is quiet. But all of us have lied. Even me. Everyone has lied. But I want to bring it to you that even a lie is a sin. A soul that sins shall die. The wages of sin is death. But the cowards unbeliever, uh, unbeli uh, unbelievers, vile, murderers, sexual immoral, sorcerers, adulterers, and what? And all liars. Their share will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur. That means instead of going to heaven, when you, you are a liar, you go to where? To hell. That is how grievous it is. That's how bad it is. It's an abomination before God. It's, God doesn't want lies. Deception. Lying. Praise the Lord. A little boy, a little boy went and asked his mother. And she, he asked the mother, Mother, what is a lie? The mother answered this way. A lie is an abomination unto the Lord, but a very present help in time of need. <laughs> he said, it is a lie is an abomination to where? To the Lord, but a present help in time of what? But it remains a what? A lie. Another guy is here. A pastor told the believers one morning, he said, believers, this Sunday I'm preaching about that, but next Sunday I'm going to preach about this subject. And he told the believers to go and read Mark chapter 17. So they said, okay. They all went. Mark 17, Mark 17. Sunday came back. And he said, uh, Pastor said, hello, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And everyone said, praise the Lord. And he asked them, how many read Mark 17? And everyone raised up their hands. And he told them in Mark, Mark stops at 16. It was a lie. The believers lied. Lying is an abomination. The Lord detests lying. There is a scripture where the, 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 the scripture is here. You open Proverbs 616. 616. Proverbs 616. You look at this. 616. 616. Praise the Lord. Proverbs 616. Today, we are dealing with lies. Oh, 616 now. We. Proverbs. Oh. Query. Okay. Kali. Let me look for it. It's not that. It's on my Bible here. Ah, Proverbs 11.9. 11.9. 11, 11.9. 11, 11, With his mouth, the ungodly destroys his neighbor. Not with his ears. With his mouth, the ungodly de destroys a neighbor. But through knowledge, the righteous are rescued. King James says, a hypocrite, a liar, omudupi, akubuzabuza, hypocrite. Eh? Omugobia, omugobia, hypocrite. A hypocrite with his mouth destroys his neighbor. How many people have we destroyed with your mouth? You're quiet. How many people have you destroyed with your mouth? 
You go on chanting, destroying them. And they say, a hypocrite. And listen to me, child of God, every hypocrite. Omugobia, again and abazaban to kubi, 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 kubi. Amazi magali inti. Aijo maiso gawe na kuolekeza kimu nuwa kozereki, nuwa ikire. He will tell you that he's the right person. But the Bible says he destroys. He's destroying his neighbor. He, destroy his, he destroys his neighbor by his mouth, mouth, by his words. He speaks words by lying. He concocts messages. He concocts words and he destroys someone's life. One man said that there are many wounds that can heal, but there is a wound that can never heal. That is a wound caused by a man who speaks vile against people. Lying. John 8, 44. John 8, 44. He tells you, and we shall go back there. He tells you what? John 8, 44. He tells you, the father of lie, of liars, is who? Ye are of your father. If you are a liar, you are here. I want to show you your father today. We were in a crusade of Pastor Robert Kayanja and, uh, and uh, one of the miracles, it was not a miracle, it was a wonder. It was a wonder. It was not a miracle, it was a wonder. One minister was ministering in Pastor Kayanja's choir but he had left some, some time, some years ago and in that crusade it so happened that the father, after 55 years, they have never seen each other with the daughter. They meet in the crusade. That crusade made them meet 55 years. This one was praising on the pulpit, and the father was looking at the girl. Isn't she the one? I think she's the one. So, when they met, when the girl came down, the father came with old enough, 55, he was not very old. Yeah? He, he came around. He came around and asked this girl, hello, how are you? And these girls, you know, some of the girls, Tom Manira, is the, the address. Tom Semberira is the laptop. <laughs> so at the end of the day, this guy comes, this man comes and says, hello, pray, how are you? I just want to greet you. Do you know this one? Do you know this one? And he tried to push him away. He, she tried to push him away. But the man stuck on, on the, the, the lady, the young girl. She's, he's stuck on the girl. And he told the girl, I want you to go behind the, the pulpit. Check if you have a mark here. I'm your father. She went and checked. The mark was there. The real mark was there. And the father went with the, with the girl and showed her the same mark which he had. And he said, you are my daughter. Bagwanga no mukafuba, bakagwamu januale, barugamu september. And today, if you're a liar, I want to show you your father. You meet him after how many years? Some of you, it is not years, it is just two seconds because you've lied on your phone even now. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the last of your father. You will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. And a born huh? and a born not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. There is no truth in him. A liar. A graduated liar. You will never find a truth in him. Everything, everything he speaks is lying. He lies. He lies in the morning. He lies in the day. He lies at night. Even when he's dreaming he's lying. When he speak a lie, he speaketh from his own. Akibaliza kurugo munda yao, wali mudupi wena. Again, akudupo muntu, kirugiro munda. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Turn to your neighbor. Tell him, neighbor. When did you 
When did you last lied? <laughs> oh. It's an abomination. Abomination in Pastor Margaret in Yogi. Kiju more. It's an abomination before the Lord. It's an abomination. Church, I want to encourage you this morning that there is a church in a church. There are people, right now we are building a body of Christ by preaching the truth. The truth of the word of God. Lying is a sin. Lying will take you to hell. And all these years you've been fighting and serving the Lord, but you lie. You lie. Lying is bad. Lying is a sin. Lying is deadly. And lying is an abomination. Before the Lord kid you more. God. God. Jura of Karumba sister Bamurumba Yachulera, Yachulera, Bamutakura Takura, Bamutakura Takura, Bamutakura, but Yagam, but when you're a cooking in Kadum, Kamboleki, Yayaki Gambo, Yakivana Girahari, but you take a take. Lying should be henceforth stopped. And I'm giving you ways how you stop lying. He says, he says in his word, your father is the devil. There is no truth in him. He, he, for he is a liar. And the father of, of it. Verses what? And because I tell you the truth, ye believe not. Timuku ikiriza. Nchavadupi muru Avantu badu pire, the Kambolike scripture endi yo munzani. Apimo munzano kutaikire Proverbs 11 wanu. Abasubuzi. Notekaya kabale, e munzani baka kukwatam, toji kwata ko, but you waka jikwatam. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. A false balance. Munzani. Bible mu King James Kugamba. A false scale. Is an abomination before the Lord. But a just weight is a delight. Delight is what? A kikumusemeza. No sisa uskwa loti. Guba kutaka guire no yao. Kutaka guire. Kataka guire yokunu. No yao wangu. Oku balancinga. He says a false scale. Give me King James. A, a false scale. Uh, you give me another whatever. Another version, which says a scale. A false scale. Brothers and sisters, a dishon uh -huh. dishonest scales are detestable to the Lord. Detestable. Ta testing. Again, ta sana komba. Kutestingo munyo guigiregi. Aha. Mka bagi alabandi bagi na kutestinga munyo alire bifibina. Omunyo ni ngirego, mukifiki nuti guigirega kanyo, ngire yekindi. Muki nuti guigirega, aaa. Ah. Oge nakuru waka half kilo, kaizira haku wota. It is detestable. Brothers and sisters, it is even in your business. How do you lie? Lying is a sin. It is an abomination before the Lord. God doesn't believe in liars. He doesn't love liars. Second Corinthians chapter 11. Second Corinthians chapter 11. And verses 3. What does it say? Second Corinthians chapter 3. Verse 3. Second Corinthians chapter 3. I want to show you the father of liars. I'm taking you back there. We shall go back. I'm giving you a scripture in the New Testament. Then I push you back to the father of liars. Are we Second Corinthians chapter 3. Are we beginning to, to command ourselves again? Or like some do, we need letters of... Tedini. Tedini yeg. Second Corinthians 11.3. For it what? For 11.3. Muganyezi. Ura tu ganyira. 11.3. But I fear that as the serpent deceived Eve, by his cunning, 
your minds may be corrupted from a complete and pure devotion to Christ. Paul is writing to these guys and telling them that the lying spirit started in Genesis chapter 3. That's where we are going. He's writing to the people in, in, in Corinth and he's telling them that as, but I fear that, that as the serpent deceived Eve, the serpent deceived Eve, he didn't deceive Adam. The serpent deceived Eve, he didn't de deceive who? Adam. Adam was deceived by Eve. The serpent deceived Eve and Eve deceived the serpent. Uh, the what? Now the serpent was the most cunning of the wild animals that the Lord God had made. Had made. He said to the woman, did God really say you can't eat from the tree of the garden? I told you that you cannot speak a lie until you know the truth. The truth must first be in you. Stand again, our Adam, now Eva, now Mugamba, Ruanga, Ruanga. Mananuko, didn't God say you, when you eat this, what? You, you can't eat this tree from the tree of, of the garden. Ak Mugamba, Satan is coming with the truth, but he is twisting the truth and bringing a what? A lie. Because there is no truth in him. There is no truth in him. Lying started in Genesis. That's why I want to show you your father if you're a liar. Your father is in Genesis. Go on, go on. In the garden. Look, look at well, verses 2. The woman said to the serpent, we may eat the fruit from the trees in the garden. Naiva. Eve knows the truth. You know the truth that you're not supposed to, to, to drink. You know the truth you're not supposed to do. But you really know that the devil is deceiving you. Because he's a father of lies. And he says what? Listen to what the Bible says. Go, go to the other verse. Uh -huh. the, but about the fruit of the tree. In the middle of the garden. God said. You must not eat. Or touch it. Or you will die. You will die. Amazi magama nyebu nda akalia. Nge na koraki. Kufa. Na stana iziri na amazi ma. Aizi na abogama. Atagama mtali ya mti yogo. Akagama mtaguli yao. Akadongo katani kampora. Ampora ti. Ogena kuroro wara ni wimuka. Kekadongo kensi. Mbaketa gavata vino vino. Siri regira. Yes, my phone at home, they put in that song. Ah, they put in another song. They put in another song. Manya what? Manya So I called MTN. Nabagambira. Remove that song before I curse you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, MTN knows how to put songs which are not supposed to be there. Yeah? So it's regular. Irregular starts slowly, slowly, slowly. Ogena kuro mtu wenye kugena kuti. Ogena kuro na na kabila ni kai mukiram. Ogena kuro na muriki tukio la kigeda. Because the devil is a liar. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Akuja na mazima na mazima kuja na gaga manire. Brothers and sisters, the Lord hates lying. Let me repeat it again in Kinyarwanda. The Lord hates lying. Okay, let me repeat it in Aluru. The Lord hates lying. He doesn't want you to lie. You must stop lying. Speak the truth wherever you go. Everyone lies, but you can change the lie. You still have the grace of the Lord is still there for you to change around, to turn around and start speaking the truth. Stop lying. Stop lying. 
I give you a picture of Adam, Adam and Eva. When you go down to the story, the story will tell you. And after he got the, 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 the fruit, he took to Adam. He didn't even take to Adam. And let me tell you, because the Bible is... Uh, the Bible is something that is uh, written in brief. Utatekeleza, mtistana kakema ive kile kikie njini ya lira ekiana. Ah ah, it was continuous, continuous. Haja kule miro, blikiro, akro, sister, bundole risuli yao. Omuti magwange ni guguru kama, ato kuikara na uo. I mean, he starts from January, the whole year is on you until he wins you because the father of liars is in him. And some of you, you should know that even when you're not married right now, you're not married. The Bible spells it out. Light has nothing to do with darkness. Pastor Uncle Tire Braza, Njakumurokora. Ah, did you die on the cross? Kumurokora. Lies. 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 Today I want you to hate lying. Stop lying. And I'll give you five disadvantages of lying. What it causes. Lies. The woman saw the tree was good. But he knew the truth. The tree was good, but they, he knew what? The truth. For food and delightful to look at and that it was de desirable for obtaining wisdom. So he took some of its fruit and ate. It's not Adam who first ate. It was um, the woman. The woman first ate and he went and took to the husband. Actually, he didn't even take to the husband. The husband was also there. Near there in the garden. She also gave some to her husband. Akabahara. She also gave some. Ekikuma is an Adam Akaba. She also gave to her, to her husband. Who's, eh? Who was with her. And he ate it. Who was with her. Now. Look at the mathematics that is here. The woman is deceived by what? I'm not hearing you. Is deceived by what? A serpent. Lies take on the woman. Love takes on Adam. Lies take on Eve. Adam was taken by love. Because Ad Eva was in love with who? With Adam. Yamugamba sweetheart. Na we liyaho. Chocolate heart. Cassava heart. Liyaho. And Adam ate. And Adam ate. Now when you go to the other verse that is coming. Verses 7. You will see the gymnastics. Which is also happening even now. Then the eyes of both of them were opened. And they knew they were naked. They were naked. In other words, lies will make you naked. Lies will take away the spirit of God from you. Lies will cause you to miss the grace of God. Lies will take you in the, away from the presence of God. They were naked. Naked of the power of God. Naked of the wisdom of God. Naked of the glory of God. Naked in everything. Every time you lie, there is something that comes off you. Much later. Mugama mina kari. Na mina bo juka anta ito gamba mina ya man. Habu kwa ito ena tuliba dupi. Then the eyes of both were open and they were knew that were, uh, uh, so they sued when you sued whatever fig trees. Uh-huh. 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 Go to the other nani. Now you see how the Lord is coming in the garden. He's coming in the garden. The, I want you to go where God is coming. Then the man eh? so the Lord God called out the man and said to him where are you? 
Ask your neighbor, where are you? Check your neighbor and tell him, where are you? God is asking you, where are you? God in heaven is coming from heaven to ask Adam, where are you? Number one, God had already positioned Adam in a winning side, in a not compromising side, in a resurrection side, in the authority of the power of the word of God. But today, Adam was taken up by a lie. He's not in his position. Many people have left their positions because of lies. Many people have left where they're supposed to be. You've left where you're supposed to be. God called you to minister. God called you to serve. But they told you many lies about that ministry. Many people have left Miracle Center and gone to other churches because of a lie. I told you of a story when this woman told a certain sister who had left but she came back afterwards and thank God for that. That that woman told this young lady that where are you, do you pray from? Miracle Center. Oh, oh, Pastor Wamushana, I don't go back there. Pastor Wamushana, one day we were at church with the pastors and the believers. We saw him go down the river there. And when we followed him, he disappeared in the water. Lies. Lies. Number one. Lies will cause you to hate what God has given you to love. Where are you? And the woman told the girl that as we were there, we came out and we didn't find him in the river. When we came back up to the miracle center, we found him on the pulpit. And the girl, bye bye, he said, bye bye, I've left the miracle said. Pastor goes to water. Again, Umaizi. That was never gone to water. Even today, you went in the water. Even today, you bathed. Bilibi, you took anger, can't again, Umaizi, again, Umaizi, you can't get high. You can't get high. Over and baptize. When I was baptized, they put me there. Sisters and brothers, many people. Adam is here. God is looking for you. Today, God is looking for you. Where are you? Many people listen to words and they fail to listen to the word. When God called you, no one was there. When God anointed you, no one was there. When God whispers to you, no one is there. Can you safeguard your position? Who told you problems will never come? Who told you challenges will not be there? You leave ushering. You leave ushering. You want people to thank you? You will not get a blessing. Brothers and sisters, let people not thank you. But the day God will thank you, people will look for you. Some of you are called by God to serve. And some of you, listen, I'm just getting it in the spirit. Some of you, you are told to come and serve. But you cannot come to serve. And there are many hindrances you're facing just because you have not obeyed. And God is asking, where are you? You're a backbencher. You're breaking benches because you have too much anointing on you which is supposed to serve. You're a singer. God called you to sing. When you are anointed to come and sing for a lady. I got a video yesterday about one. Yesterday about one. Tell your neighbor, stop lying. This girl came to a church. She was walking towards church. And she found an usher who became an Alsa. The usher was at the door. And this girl was putting on this skin, this bunobu halibuno, obukulega nkengalabiobu. 
how do they call them? And he had put on condition. And she comes to the church. As she was coming to enter into the church, the usher said, here we, we don't allow people putting on like that to enter. Don't enter. Go back. You know what happened? The girl goes. Five meters, ten meter, 20 meters away from the church. He kills herself. Little did the usher know that this woman was seeking for refuge in the church. Me here, I don't allow people to send away people, even if they come naked. You don't, listen to me, even if they come naked, you just don't know what forced them to live there. Rundo mukazara ile kintu ni kikora ki, ni kimuniga, ya yudu kira amira ko. The girl died. And now when, he di when she died, these guys come and they find the dead body closer to the church. And when they come, they, even the usher who stopped her comes. And they start crying. Even the usher was crying. can't him. Well, we want this madness knows no way that by ten in the Kubi. Oh, Kunyamba, can you help? Can you bomb Bussibi? Sometimes you say, Kumbo Sibi can Kayamaka, Aka call Bakuru Lombusibi, and Tamania Yoku Fair, Amuksi Kalhey. Come by the Kanyita can't. Kugira Monti Nikanchu Bitakun. Nyumba and Chule Rebuchulera and Takuagambira. I know things, but I do what? I quiet them. Can't call it away. Ah, let's go back to the hing. You tell me the time, Valage. We our women conference is starting today. I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. And all of you must give me money. Praise the Lord. In your bantu mubarulira, I kariye akwikara na sika kaskati kamuli kubi. Baita goza kuikiri za smartness. Knows no what. Nyoko gira anti kuyilu akantu kakujubi robotu kaka ankabia. Now, I know things, but I quiet them. You know, now the girl is dead there. And this pastor, the, the man of God, one man of God also comes. And the girl is there. This Asha is also there. The people gather. And the, the man of God says, Ah, he got a revelation. Like that one who is getting a revelation of a phone which is crying in the church. He got a revelation as they were standing there. God spoke to this man. He said, this girl, I had sent her to that church to deliver her because she was rejected from young age. She was suffering from rejection. I woke, up, I woke her up at four in the night to come to this church to deliver, to deliver her. And the minister refused her to enter. The, the people, the, 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 the woman was there. And he said, no, 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 no. no. Uh, this girl, I think I saw her somewhere. Uh, you were the one. Pastor said, you girl, you, you, Asha, you are the one who stopped this girl. You are the one who has caused this girl to die. The girl, the Asha said, it is not me. We have not seen this girl at all. Word of knowledge. He told the girl, this girl came from the right side. She came when she was crying. You told her 
these words yabibaza ngo muisiki kuyakoze reki mukazi yati ashe yatalika kuchuru yegwa hanze you don't know how people sleep people might have a chikomera na masanyaze garoho beware of dogs but don't beware of demons emizimute manyiri embwa Maybe this girl that day was her day of salvation. Don't chase people. Even when someone comes to your shop, have a sixth sense. Hear from God if there is something that he wants you to do for that person. You don't know he might be the next president of Uganda. You're quiet because you've just away meme. Now you go back there, down, down, down. I finish. Where are you? Where are you, Asha? Where are you, Singa? Brothers and sisters, may I come to realize that God called me? It is not the devil who called me. It is God who called me. I have a farm. I go there, but I've got to be here. I have where to work, but I've got to be here. I'm talking to ministers. I'm talking to ministers. In life, Pastor Alex, we have four times. Four areas over times. I call them times. There is the morning time. There is the lunch time. There is the evening time. And there is the night time. The morning time is for the young people. That was your morning. You could do everything in the morning. You could do everything. Now you're approaching lunch time. Some of us are approaching lunch time. Some of us are approaching evening. September. December. Remember, child of God, what you cannot do in your morning time, you will never do it in your night time. And not forget, they will ask you why you didn't do it when you were supposed to do it. Some of you, are in the evening time. Nesimu bagi kuterera otu hara mwaka kugihimbo oti. Sometime, I call my mother. She has a phone. You call her. She picks it. Ah, nyesimu mbaireke ngirekele mungu. Ngirekele mungu. Hati botelo katelo katelo. Bwagi kuata. Na wazana ngeka ugarvinda. Iti hatelo. My mother is in the evening time. <laughs> now, don't papia her as if she's still in the lunch time. You fail to wake up in the morning when you're still young. Will you wake up in the morning when you're 90? I did it. <laughs> Will you? Lying. He says, where are you? I've diverted from lying. I'm telling you, where are you? God, is, God cannot waste, nah, let me tell you, God cannot waste his blood, number one. God cannot waste his time, number two. God cannot waste his life, number three. God cannot leave his kingdom, number four. God cannot leave his glory, number five, and come down and save you, and you do nothing in his kingdom. Congratulate it. 
When it comes to giving, you don't give. When it comes to raising up hands, you raise up your hands. Pew. Jump. Buka. Buka. God cannot save you. God cannot change you. God cannot take away your enemies. God cannot fight the devil at night and you come in his church and sit there and do nothing. Today, he's asking, where are you? Where are you, choir member? Where are you, leader of the choir? Where are you? There are certain times God works in time. Brothers and sisters, I want to assure you, God works in time. He says in his own time, he makes all things better. Beautiful. There is a time when you're supposed to be on the pulpit, but you're in the garden. Where are you? Even if I don't continue in lying, God is asking you, where are you? Last night I was driving, going home. I slept here. I'm going home. I found these guys on the way. They were beating each other. Boxing each other. I stopped in my car. I said, thank you, Jesus. You saved me. Maybe that would have been me there boxing. What Jesus did at the cross of Calvary didn't bring you here to sit and look at things. God is going to ask you, where are you? In the choir, you're not there. In the church, you're not there. In the fellowship, you don't come. Even in giving in the basket, you don't go. Where? only thing people will tell you in church, pastor is eating our money. Question, do you want me to eat plastics? Chairs. <laughs> Ask your neighbor, where are you? I came to realize, child of God, I want to tell you, I came to realize one of these, each, each one of you is a witness. One of these days, people are dying mysteriously. A pastor, Pastor Gum of Kiriandongo, Bweyale, Pastor Gum came at home, gave the children money for breakfast. Pastor Gum. Use your time for God because he's going to ask you the day you die. Where are you? Adam, where are you? I called you to be a preacher. Where are you? I called you to look after the garden. Where are you? I called you. This, this brother Harrison. Harrison, this brother Harrison. Harrison becomes my son because I taught him from down there up to where he, he, he stopped. But that guy there, he comes on time. He comes and serves God. Praise the Lord. He comes on time. We were burying, we were burying Madame Adele, Ad, Ad, Adreda. Everyone was testifying about Adreda. I mean, a prayer. Where are you, child of God? I'm a student, you know. I'm still young. Where are you? God didn't save you to suffer again. 
Pastor, I cannot mop a church. My, my level. The nails are too long to chalk humanity. I cannot touch in water. Where are you? When we preach the gospel about helping the men of God, because why? Some of you are sitting here. You don't give a tithe. You just tithe. You do your tithe. Your tithe note. You don't tithe. Come rain, come sun. You don't tithe. And the Bible says, you look for me a scripture that says, God cannot lie. Something like that. He's not a man to do what? Help me look for that, that scripture. God is not a man that he may lie. If you get it, you just tell, you read it for me. If you get it. God is not a man to lie. Muhere zeru hanga vanti nyo muhere zeru hanga. Haria vanta bala heri mizimu ekuba niga bagonza kuhere zeru hanga. Baitibaina na mugiso guo. Bakurara bakikiri alimuwa batako juwara na ankaite vintu vikaba haka na. But when you came to Jesus, he gave you everything. You are at PC. Harubu urane ni njara otahulire na tabu yona. No Giviama, ne Kuruma, no Giruma, but no Mukanyanka, no Gama Jesus. You are God. Because the Bible says the peace I give you is not the peace I give to the world. Where are you? This is Pastor Womshana Robert Shivoka, the Bishop of Masindi Miracle Center. I know. Me, I'm growing up. I'm coming from my, middle, my, my lunchtime age. I'm going to my evening. But before I enter evening, let me use my strength of lunchtime. That's why you hear me going there. You're going here. He's driving there. Blessed be the name of the Lord for President Museven who gave me a car. I'm telling you. No burabuli wa no pota tiri munga rumuka manja kugani ra. Baju no burabuli tiri munga ro president wa wa no wo, no wo go. But why am I thanking God for the car that He gave me? That car takes me every whenever they call me. Sometimes I don't have fuel. <laughs> 